I know you're tired of answering this question. I have to ask you, though, about uh, McLaren and the testing program. I think I read recently that not only will you be um, in an old car, but at some point maybe an FP1 drive. Anything else to talk about with that? So that's that's something that, that I read in the media, too. Cause oh. I, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how truthful it is, but they do need to, to do their two, I think it's two FP1s that they need a rookie in. Um, we're seeing Nick DeVries this weekend do it in, in Barcelona. So it would be cool to be able to race on um, or do an FP1 on a, on a race weekend. A um, little bit more of a feel for, for what those cars are like, because I'm sure the car that I will drive this year will be different. But yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be it's going to be really cool. It's, you know, childhood dream of mine to be able to get in a Formula One car. The first time I sat in one was at the museum. I sat in the 92 Benetton like a month ago. So um, it'll be cool to get in one again and, and actually be able to start the thing up and drive it. And what about Mario when he gets to drive one at Coda? Are you gonna, you guys going to be trading some data? So I didn't fully understand what was happening because I thought they were going to do like some media deal of him driving like the 1985 or whatever MO car. And um, he, I was at dinner with him yesterday. He's like, no, I said, I didn't want to do that. I want to drive the I've already driven all those old cars. <laughs> I want to drive the new ones that are a lot faster than those things. Um, so yeah, it's going to be cool. Hopefully I'm, I'm at Coda. Um, just for that reason, to see him drive that would be amazing, but we'll have to wait and see. I've never seen you get more animated and excited than when Zach Brown said you could drive the McLaren at Coda. Tell me a little bit about that and, and where that stands right now. Well, what it stands is that uh, he confirmed it. You know, he's going to give me a ride in last year's car. You know, this year will be legal, you know, but uh, nevertheless, that's a, you know, it's a contemporary car. That's what I uh, was hoping for. You know, I expressed myself last uh, July in England at the Goodwood Festival. Uh, I sat in the car, I said, man, you know, I'd like to have a go at this. He said, well, we'll see what happens, you know, and then uh, this came up. So he's a great guy. Uh, I love him to death. And uh, giving me that opportunity means a lot, for sure, as you can imagine.